you very much experience and uh me and kaze do talk a lot uh we actually do know someone from the puerto rico area to which kaze uh originally resides from which is puerto rico um he actually plays with a p train in puerto rico and gets a series of reviews and his name is uh 420 peach so shout outs to him in giving so much to the experience right and we're gonna see the peach actually come out in this okay so we're gonna be seeing the peach this matchup so uh, Mario P Shout out to Matt. Good job. He's the best Mario in the world. Let's see if that stays Be true. Oh, so better than Ally, huh? All right. Well, all right. We'll see how this goes. But uh, Peach Mario, this is definitely, uh, for me as Peach, right, this is an even matchup. Definitely uh, Mario's weight can, put her, can give her a lot of combo food. And the only thing that's really restricting, both these characters in their advantage safe do really, really well. But whenever, whenever they get it, it's just either one dies or the other. And what Peach goes with this matchup, she's very floaty and very light. So yep. she can die super early to Mario's combos. But what she can also do is that since Mario is one of the she can get out of his combos very easily. Yep, it's definitely that float. If um, he uses the float right, he's gonna be really hard to kill. Very much, and he can, uh, and he can also, and he can also definitely bait out options like. Some like peaches love to use float and then wait for an option because they play the mind game enough to where they're like, oh, he's gonna immediately float down and throw an attack and they're like, oh, tomahawk grab. Yeah, float is very. Oh. Yeah. Try to is... catch him with an air, but good air dodge by Matt. Yeah, float is very essential in the Pe in peaches arsenal. If she cannot float, then peach can really not do much at all about it. What I yeah, and what I want to see Matt doing right there actually is throwing a lot of backers because peach actually struggles in uh. When she's in her float, she struggles at actually retaliating to to aerial moves that are like right into the right into the back air, or any moves that really just linger out. Like say, of course, Mario back air or Diddy Kong forward air, anything like that. It can definitely spell trouble for Peach trying to deal with. Yep, yeah, and the other thing he has to watch out for is up smash, up smash right there. <laughs> well, coming back, up smash, gonna up smash, and uh. Max sitting at a pretty confident uh, 54% to zero, yep. and four there in the neutral. Um, I mean, he's the best player in the world. He's obviously got something planned. So, four there in neutral, something else, something. He, um, the one thing I like to see from Matt right now, he is so aggressive right now. It is really oh. paying off for him. Oh wow, the four there with the lingering hitbox just still hitting him, even though he caved him. Yep. That forward air will kill right now. So For sure, be it's, very careful. especially at the ledge. One thing I do, one thing I want to go back to was when was when Matt was at the ledge. Kaze had the perfect opportunity to just throw out a throw out a forward air right there because Matt chose the normal get up option and he didn't throw out an attack. Good DI by Matt to survive, but float off stage, no resort. So many forward airs. It's such a good option though because. Even though it can be punished on shield, if you space it just good enough, it can be pretty unpunishable on shield. At least it's not like Brawl for Matt, because in Brawl, Peach Forward Air was actually lagless and it auto cancelled, so... And a Beam Sword. Oh yeah, and Beam Swords assist. So coming back again for this, Matt is just gonna... Oh, oh I was... nicely done by Matt. I was expecting the Forward Air, I don't know about you. Oh. Ooh, with the back light. air to catch him off guard. Yeah, that forward air takes a little time to so get off. Yeah, definitely something. Definitely a say it's definitely uh forward air. Forward air, forward air takes a little bit to come out, and Peach's back air is definitely no slouch to coming out. Oh, okay. So there's one thing Peach can do. Peach is a very damage heavy character. If you give her space, she will give you up to like 50 or 60 percent damage. Like. She is so good at backing up damage, but what she struggles oh, wow. with... Oh. He waited so long for that up smash right there. Oh, and one thing to know also as well for Peach, her her back air, her butt is also a heart butt, so if he would have been any later, it would have killed. Yep. Yeah, so even though, for those of you who think Peach is like Peach Bomber or something like that, her butt is, a, her butt is also a heart butt. You can counter it can throw out a good group and it will beat it and the timing on these um forts of up smashes from 
mat just a little too early. If yeah. he catches it just a little longer, he's going to catch um, Kaze off guard. And right now, Kaze uh, going to lose game one because uh, back throw. Yeah, floating character with back throw with the strongest Marios. It's, uh, they're not they're not gonna stroke they're not gonna survive for too long and uh i'm not sure if we're gonna see the switch here by kaze to ryu yeah i would he's, not be surprised he's debating good. it right now he's he knows the matchup really well with um ryu because of he's gone against Murr, he's gone against blank minus uh, a bunch um, of um mario mains here right now he's trying he's getting coached from orange right now so uh he might actually sit to the beach i don't know Maybe he will stick to the feast, but you know, but to be honest, it would be better to probably switch up a Ryu because that is his better and serious character. But I, yeah, yeah. he, okay, so, how's that? Wait. Yeah, we're gonna see you switch to Ryu. Oh, wait, wait no, no, wait, no, no, you're fake. No, thank he, he you. Just wants thank the he just wants the costume change, don't worry. No, it's gonna be the same green dress. Same green. No, no costume change. The same, uh, same old, same old. Oh, I'll be, I'll be, all right, all right, I, all right. I, I certainly don't know what's going on right now. Kaze is really debating himself about switching or not, but I think he has the confidence enough with this feast to try to go back in. All right, yeah. all right. So he's gonna try without platforms this time. Yeah, and uh, this sage can actually be really good for Peach as well because a lot of her uh, damage combos off this sage can actually just be very beneficial since there are no platforms for Mario to escape to. Peach can actually have a really good time in trying to keep damage heavy combos into Mario, which given Battlefield, Battlefield Tattered City can also be really good stages for her in Smashville alone, but all but the other characters can escape very easily through platforms that are given to them. Wow, this stage right here, no platforms at all. You have to come back down to the stage or to the ledge. And Peach, can, Peach, as I said, very damage heavy character can take care of that. Yep. Um, the other thing right now that um, Kaze has adjusted to is he's just playing tag with Mario right now. He's getting some damage in. He's getting out. He just he doesn't want to take so much of a hit from Mario because so much can happen. Oh wow, that tech. That good tech. Peach is, for those of you who don't know, Peach's Dalto is actually really is is much easier to detect than people think. They're, they see Dalto. They see Dalto combos and they're like, oh my god, Peach's Dalto must be so hard in tech. It's not actually it's not actually that hard. You just have to really have the time to do it. Same with like Cloud, same with like Cloud Spikes. Ooh, same with like Cloud Spikes. Very scary to take in right there. Because like if he did it at the wrong angle, he would have died. Very much so. But also, like I said, Peach's Dalto, ooh, Peach's Dalto is actually very easy to take, kinda like you just have to learn the timing to it, kind of like with Cloud's down, kind of like with Cloud's second up feed. You can also tech those too. Oh, oh no! He gets turned around. Yeah, he got. What happened was he got scared of Kaze throwing out the forward air, so he's like, "Oh my god, I need to avoid the forward air coming out." Yeah. And he paid dearly for it. Yeah. I don't. Th I don't think my sponsor would be happy to see that. <laughs> now we're looking for uh, something else. The blender. The one thing I actually learned from Peach, um, when she does the blender, the down air, um, she kind of raises her heart box just up a little. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. That's pretty much what happens with a lot of Peach's moves. She, she, they're very good moves and they linger, but they also give her a huge hit bus of heart bus to throw out there as well because those moves have to stay out there for some time. Ooh, very good killed. DI not to die from that. Yeah. Very risky for Kaze trying to go back in for the forward air. And Matt's just gonna spam up slash because uh Mario up slash is super good. Ooh, he had the cape at the right time, but Kaze threw it over him, so the game was proven ineffective. None of these turnips have landed at all. Oh, that water pushing him up is a very bad um spot for Kaze. But Matt also needs to notice. Ooh. Yep. Okay. Up so there, we'll kill them. Another thing Matt really needs to notice about this matchup is that Parasol does go through the ledge. It doesn't matter if they say perfectly clean to the ledge or what. Parasol always goes through the ledge, and Matt's been getting hit by all of these Parasol hits below the stage because he's like, I'm going to go in and try to get this two-frame punish, but he forgets the Parasol can extend through the stage. 
Oh, we try to go for the neutral. Nicely done with the grab to get him out of those neutral areas. Oh, the bait! That was such a good bait by Kaze. He's trying to get this ledge trump in, but it's not working at all. Oh yeah. That. But back to what I was saying before. I had to uh, excuse myself for a second. Oh, fast. Oh yeah. no. Yeah. Put himself in a very, very laggy move, and Peach's four there just lingers out there. Like, let me throw up my crown, and I'm gonna go ahead and side you with a piece of metal, and it's gonna hurt. Well, it put him into stasis fall because he tried to go for the kill with the up B, but since he did that, that puts him in that fall, and he just open to any option for Peach. And so, oh, we're gonna see the Ryu now. All right, so finally we're gonna see the Ryu. No more teasing this time. We're actually gonna see his. Kaze's actual way going back to FD. So, uh, for this stage, I'm not sure how this will work, but Mario, again, multi hitting move, downer especially, should be the most prioritized thing in this matchup. Because, again, if he wants to lay against Ryu and focus a lot, he's got to use that down there to his advantage and all those multi hit moves. Oh my goodness. And Kaze, now that he switched to his main, he's doing so much better. Yeah, he's just getting used to Peach a little, but now. <laughs> Matt's gotta be ready or he's oh, gonna take oh so goodness. much. Oh my goodness, he can actually die right now. Oh my goodness. Well, he could have died at 60, but oh, oh well. Okay, if he would have done it any earlier, he would have actually killed Kaze off because he got put in the fastball with the true shore Yukin and he threw out the kick, but unfortunately, he'd already touched the plat. He'd already touched the stage. And right there, he tried to go for the jab lock right there, too. Oh, but a uh, tilt into sure Yukin. Ouch. And as I was actually right there, Mario tried to go for the jab lock punish, but he rolled off the stage. Because, so it was very good. Oh, it's because he's dead. Yep. That was such a good cape. Very nicely Matt. done, Matt. Oh, Rita's going to get three damage. Ooh, good up B to get a little bit of damage and to uh, give him a little bit of taste. So it's like, get out of my face. Yeah. So Kaze mainly just has to watch out for these weird kills. If he doesn't, he's going to get oh, that, oh, that, by this cape. Oh, oh, oh good very jump. Very nicely done with the air dodge. Or that would have been death. That would have very much been death. And he's going to try it again. Oh, donkey kick. Very nicely done with the... <gasps> oh, he tried. Oh, he wanted that cape so bad. <laughs> I, I commend him for that option. He... Any other person, oh. any other person would have been like, Mario's gonna try to go for the four there. He's gonna try to go straight through me, but he the threw out the shield thing is amazing by Matt right now, but doesn't matter. Uh, bread and butter combos by Ryu. Street Fighter. Give it your all indeed, and he that's oh exactly God. what Kaze gave. He gave it his all, and he got the sweet 2 1 after going peach for two games. Yep. All right. So I'm switching off. I'm gonna be on stream next. So uh, we're gonna switch it off for. What are only chaotic are what if I grew an in the area? Alright, uh now we have Caesar versus Zay. Alright then, I was wrong. Alright, he plays a peach. Do you know who 